Folks, quick recap video before we head out for the weekend. It's uh, 5.30 Friday evening. Uh, Apple went down today. It went down quite hard actually around $7.84 and so my adjustment point is at four sixty. So let's see how it opens up uh, on Monday morning because now you know we may want to add a bull put. So what I mean uh, a bear call. We already have a bull put at 4.25. Uh, we might want to open a bear call at least get it to a delta neutral position on Monday. Uh, Chipotle there is an issue here and I wanted to show that um, let's see what we have um, let me go to Chipotle first and this is what we have on Chipotle the one thing I noticed today is this you can see that our position is in October and I know I happen to notice that this was 33 percent volatility and I was wondering why and uh, so I went and did some digging around it so happens that Chipotle is reporting earnings believe it or not we are back in earnings season um, so Chipotle is reporting earnings one day after this uh, series expires so now this is a problem for our trade because uh, this volatility is going to increase as we go uh, as we go forward so uh, you know if, uh, regardless of whether Chipotle goes up or down the volatility is going to increase and so you know having a credit spread is a negative Vega position so uh, that is going to uh, you know impact us negatively so let's see what uh, how Chipotle does on Monday um, we we definitely want to neutralize the Vega effect at the very least and if Chipotle goes down by a couple of dollars this position will be evened out and we'll just exit the trade because uh, I just realize that uh, you know we are heading into we are coming back into earning season next month so it seems like we just left earning season and we are back into earning season so anyway that's as far as Chipotle is concerned gold is a straddle gold went down hard this morning but seems to have recovered by the end of the day uh, GMCR we pocketed uh, $400 again you can see from the short uh, uh, strad uh, strangle we have uh, 200 of obviously that's not enough uh, so we're going to keep that and it seems to be right in the middle over there right now so that's good uh, Google is doing well we are it's at 889 we have a open profit of 3800 however we still have to reconcile for the 2200 loss so but still we are up on this position now finally it's we are up about $1600 we still have $4,800 worth of premium left to go in Google. Um, MasterCard we recovered some again today and so we are back to uh, almost even we don't need to do anything there. Uh, Netflix is again a, um, a this iron condor and I, I my suspicion is over the next uh, you know a week or so we would be adjusting this. Uh, we do have a uh, booked profit well that's that's all gone that's uh, from the previous now we are into the October series so uh, we start fresh however we know that that you know we cannot capture any profit out of the out of the bear call because this came as a result of the roll which was pretty much a washout so there's nothing there's no money to be made on the bear call there's only money to be made on the bull put so that's where we stand with Netflix price line I closed it out today I think it recovered a little bit uh, towards the close but it was at 963 and uh, I didn't want to take a risk uh, uh, with price line so if anybody has this position I think many people have a few people at least have the original bull put which was at the uh, 900 level that's great so this is right in the middle uh, you can pocket the entire uh, iron condo premium uh, by next week and uh, finally Tesla this is uh, you know very interesting adjustment we did in the morning you can see I, I sent out an email and a video uh, e uh, you know email about this uh, getting into this uh, uh, this bull put with seven days to go you can see that bull put is up 600 bucks today so uh, that's pretty good and uh, next week we'll be you know if uh, as long as Tesla doesn't come down we're going to pocket the entire premium with and the premium left in that is let me see here uh, 840 still left in that so that so that's good 840 plus about 600 that's almost $1,500 uh, will recover from this position so um, uh, that that was a good adjustment okay so I'm looking at LinkedIn next week as a as a potential trade I'm also looking at Herbal Life Herbal Life has been bullish a little bit as well as IBM so those are the three things we are looking at for next week I'll do some analysis and come back to you have a great weekend everyone thanks